Hey, what's up everyone? Pase Baller here. We are now in this ninth game for this December 7, 2022. This is the game between Detroit Pistons visiting New Orleans Pelicans, which will start at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and that is going to be 9 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I am just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pase Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread that is given in here is uh, minus 10, and that's given towards the um, home team, New Orleans Pelicans. Now, before we proceed, let's take a look at the standings and the rankings of both teams. Let's start off with the Detroit Pistons, uh, which are actually from the Eastern Conference. They are at number 14 um, in the Eastern Conference with a record of 7 wins and 19 losses. Now, for New Orleans Pelicans, they are at number 2 in the Western Conference with a record of 15 wins and 8 losses. Alright, so um, in here, New Orleans Pelicans would actually be enjoying uh, the home court advantage. Not only that, they would also be having uh, the advantage in terms of uh, fatigue as Detroit Pistons actually had a game last night when they actually defeated Miami Heat. Now, in terms of uh, momentum, well, both teams are actually coming off wins. Um, Detroit Pistons, just like I said, they defeated Miami Heat last night. It was a, you know, it was a blowout, right? So, uh, but New Orleans Pelicans approaching this game, man, they are on a four-game winning streak. So, we got to give the advantage towards New Orleans Pelicans in terms of momentum. And let's take a look at the uh, availability of the players and the health of both teams. For Detroit Pistons, uh, Isaiah Livers and Kate Cunningham are still out of this game. While for New Orleans Pelicans, um, Liddell and Brandon Ingram are confirmed out for the game. And we have Herbert Jones and Devontae Graham um, listed as questionable. So in terms of uh, health, I gotta say that um, we gotta give the advantage towards Detroit Pistons because they only have a couple of players out, even though it's Cade who's been out. Um, they've, you know, they've found ways to actually win some games, um, or at least, you know, uh, keep the, you know, keep the games close um, and give them, give themselves some opportunities to at least win the game, right? Okay, here we go. Now. Uh, a lot of you know a lot of factors are actually pointing towards New Orleans Pelicans' direction. Uh, we have the home court, we have momentum, we have fatigue, pretty much everything, right? Except from except from health, because uh, for New Orleans Pelicans there are four play players listed in the injury list. But I mean, I gotta say that is correct. You know, I gotta say that that is correct. Um, highly likely, it will be New Orleans Pelicans who will win the game. Um, they have been on fire for a game winning streak for their last 10 games. They have won eight. Um, but the spread, man, I'm looking at the spread. The, the spread of plus 10 um, given to Detroit Pistons, it's so hard to, you know, it's so hard to uh, pass on that. I mean, come on, man. Detroit Pistons, uh, I know they are at number 14 in the Eastern Conference and all that. I know they have just won seven games so far, but, man, they have won four out of their last eight. So lately, they have really improved a lot, especially um, with Bogdanovich uh, taking over, um, with Kevin Knox actually uh, giving them uh, automatic points off the bench. Um, Burks, whenever, you know, I forgot when Burks actually started playing for Detroit Pistons, but he, he is actually um, an automatic scorer off the bench. Um, just like what I just like what I was saying, New Orleans Pelicans highly likely will win the game, um, but I'm gonna stick with Detroit Pistons, man, with the plus ten on it. Um, I know they just played last night, but uh, they're a bunch of young individuals um, who can, you know, who keep on crawling and fighting, and um, I think they should be able to cover the spread of plus ten. I don't think it will be like a close, close game, but the plus ten again, I'm gonna roll my dice with the Detroit Pistons in here. My pick, Detroit plus ten. Peace out, pass love, and God bless.